Today I want to show you some of the classic tools for comics inking and talk about some of the pros and cons. If you've seen my other videos, you probably know that I'm not a proponent of any right uh, tool. What's important is you find something that you like working with, something that works for you, something that fits your particular way of drawing and where you like the end result. So let's get into the tools. First off, we have the brush. With a brush, you get a very lively line art, very organic. One of the pros is uh, there's a great variety in thickness and lines. It's great for curvy, cartoony styles. Some of the cons, there is a learning curve to this tool. Uh, you will also need to clean the brush afterwards, which can be a hassle and take quite a bit of time. You can smudge the ink all over your page if you're unlucky. Price is also a factor. A good brush can be very expensive and you may need a couple of different sizes. It's also very difficult to make a straight line with a brush. I would always use a marker for balloons and borders. Pro tip! If, like me, you don't have the patience for cleaning brushes, you can use a brush pen. I use this very cool one from Pentel, which has made it so much faster and easier and just more fun for me. I inked all the illustrations in my book solo using a brush pen from Pentel. Quill or dip pen. This is a classic weapon of choice for a cartoonist. Very versatile, great for variation in line thickness and just looks cool, if you're good. Pros, there's a unique chance for fine lines and thick ones. It's a very versatile tool. Cons, it takes a while to master this tool. I inked my first uh, 48 page comic book with a quill just because at that time I thought that's what you were supposed to do and I never really got happy with the result. A quill is a sharp piece of metal. It can scratch up your paper, uh, the nib can get clogged and you can end up splattering ink on your page as well. Both the brush and the quill require ink, which is also a factor, as you have to figure out what to use. India ink or Sumi ink is supposedly good, but I must admit I abandoned these tools long ago. I do work with a brush, but only in watercolor, and that's another story altogether. Markers, the lazy man's choice. If, like me, you have better things to do than wait for ink to dry or cleaning brushes and quills after a day's work, this is a perfect tool for you. A marker, you just uncap and you go. The great thing about drawing with markers is if you get a line that's too thin for you, you can always go over it again or even use a bigger marker. You can't really go wrong with a Sharpie. If you're a president, you can also use it to draw on maps. Pros. Consistent line, not waiting for ink to dry, easy to correct with whiteout or these great Posca acrylic markers. Cons, no line variation unless you use these Statler Lumicolor ones, which are really great. Line art may pale over time and it's maybe not the most environment friendly choice as you just chuck the markers after they run dry. Pencil, wait, pencil is not ink, right? Correct, but since you're scanning your art anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can adjust the contrast in the computer using Photoshop or whatever. I've inked both my graphic novel Stiletto and Thomas Alsop with the 0.7 minor pencil. In both cases, I then painted over the pages in watercolor, but that's another story. Pros, easy to use, easy to erase. Cons, there is the smudge factor. You smudge the pages when you move around over it and if you erase over and over again you risk ruining the paper and your artwork crayons uh no just no digital i always get asked if i draw on a computer or a tablet and no i don't i'm a dinosaur but maybe you do and that's fine and while i do sometimes envy people who can quickly add layers or textures to a drawing I also figured out that I don't need to spend that kind of money that uh, you would need to buy a Cintiq. Pros, easy to correct lines, easy to use layers and reference. Cons, yeah, we already talked a bit about price. You also need uh, power and expensive programs that need updating. There's a certain lack of mobility unless you use like an iPad Pro, uh, which by the way, Santa Claus, if you're listening, I want one of those for Christmas. There's a bit of a learning curve and the opportunity to always go back and correct stuff can really be a 
Uh, what's the what's the opposite of a blessing in disguise? A time suck? Anyway, if you're not careful, the tool that was supposed to save you time and hassle may end up taking longer than if you just did it by hand. With all the analog tools mentioned in this video, I suggest using a light box or uh, taking a photocopy of your sketched page uh, before you start inking, you know, just in case you screw up, which you probably will. So uh, have an extra copy to work from. And you can watch this video over at comicsforbeginners.com on inking. As a companion to this video, uh, artist Michael Johnson Curry has provided a handful of his pencils that you can print out and try your own inking skills on. You can find the printouts at comicsforbeginners.com slash resources at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching this and happy drawing!